president takes executive action on reproductive health, but says the matter will ultimately come down to the voters. Plus, the state Supreme Court hands down rulings on several issues today, including the use of ballot drop-off boxes for the upcoming elections. And Dane County is getting ready to host a gun buyback program, but have they worked in the past? We'll take a closer look right now at 10. Thank you for joining us. President Biden and a paper today signing an executive order to try and protect some reproductive access for women. But he noted it only goes so far and the power to codify Roe v. Wade ultimately lies with the voters. Here in Wisconsin, the head of Planned Parenthood says it is a bit of relief to see the president's urgency, but she says what women really need is their reproductive rights back. She spoke with our Arman Rahman. Charlotte, it's not only reproductive rights the president and abortion advocates say are now under attack. They hope this executive order protects the right to digital privacy. Hearing the president call on the Departments of Justice and Health and Human Services today. Do everything in their power to protect these women seeking to invoke their rights. Planned Parenthood Wisconsin CEO was encouraged, but knows those rights largely are still gone within our state. Unfortunately, the executive order does not restore access to abortion in the state of Wisconsin. The president is also advocating for legal assistance for women and providers who may need to terminate a pregnancy to save a life under Wisconsin's 1849 law that would still be legal. And the doctors have clear guidance on their own responsibilities and protections, no matter what the state, no matter what state they're in. Another element Biden hopes to save from attack is data privacy. And you know, to to be in a place where we're having the conversation about that level of privacy invasion. He's calling on the Federal Trade Commission to set up a task force to protect online searches, period tracking apps, and more sources of women's information. Experts and abortion advocates fear that information could be shared with police or vigilantes. It, it underscores that it's essential that people be able to make these personal private decisions themselves and access the information that they need without fear of other people stepping in and making decisions for them. Decisions largely out of people's hands, including the president's, who Atkinson knows is doing all he currently can. We, we definitely believe that with President Biden signing the executive order, it continues to highlight the urgency of the matter. And Atkinson wants to remind people that all of Planned Parenthood's health centers are still open in Wisconsin and staff will help people seeking out abortions to travel out of state to get them. And looking ahead, House Democrats will consider votes on abortion rights measures next week when the chamber comes back from recess. The Women's Health Protect Act, which the House passed earlier this year but died in the Senate, and the Ensuring Access to Abortion Act, which would protect a woman's right to travel to seek an abortion, will go to the floor on Tuesday. Let's get a first look at our weekend forecast now. Here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti. Well, skies are clearing out across southern Wisconsin, and the humidity levels have really dropped compared to where they were earlier today. Take a look at the time lapse from WIC Skycam. Some clouds, some showers during the day, but look what happens this afternoon. The skies start to clear out, and by sunset, we're almost perfectly clear. The rain is gone from Wisconsin. It will probably stay dry for the entire weekend. High temperatures topped out at 80 in Madison, some mid-80s in southwestern Wisconsin, but only mid to upper 70s north and east of Madison. Right now, temperatures are in the upper 60s here in town, still around 70 out toward the Mississippi. River mid 60s to the north and east. But look at the dew points now down to 51 in Madison. That's a drop of about 20 degrees in the last 24 hours. It is noticeably less humid and dew points are in the 40s to the north and east. By morning will be down to about uh, 57 degrees here in Madison with clear skies. Tomorrow should be a sunny and pleasant day with a high of 79. Sunday will be in the low 80s with sunshine, but we could see even warmer temperatures toward the end of next week. I'll have more on that in the forecast in just a few minutes. Next at 10, the Wisconsin Supreme Court handing down several high-profile rulings today. The two most significant deal with the use of ballot drop boxes during elections and whether county health officials have the power to enforce health orders. In the latter, the court ruled 4-3 to three that local health officers can unilaterally issue orders to slow diseases. This challenge stemmed from public health medicine and Dane County rules that limited indoor gatherings and mandating masks during the height of the pandemic. 
pandemic. The decision affirms that the state law grants local health officers the ability to do what they deem necessary to stop communicable diseases without oversight from governing bodies. And in the other ruling, also on a four to three vote, the conservative controlled court ruled absentee ballot drop boxes may be placed only in election offices and that no one other than the voter can return a ballot in person. Republicans have argued the boxes are ripe with fraud, with Democrats and others arguing that many voters, particularly the elderly and disabled, have difficulty returning their ballots without the assistance of others. For more on both of these rulings, including reaction from both sides of the aisle, check out our extensive coverage on Channel 3000 and our News 3 Now app. A teen charged in connection with a deadly shooting this winter outside of a basketball game at a Beloit High School is headed to trial. 19-year-old Amari Goodall faces a single count of first-degree reckless homicide tied to the January 29th shooting outside of Beloit Memorial High School, which killed 19-year-old Jion Broomfield. During testimony at Goodall's preliminary hearing today, a detective said investigators were able to identify Goodall partially thanks to a tip from a witness at the basketball game. He was arrested in Michigan roughly two months after that shooting. A court official during Goodall's preliminary hearing on Friday ultimately found probable cause to move forward with the case. Family and friends said their final goodbyes to three of the victims of this week's Highland Park Parade Massacre. 63-year-old Jacqueline Sundheim, 88-year-old Stephen Strauss, and 78-year-old Nicholas Toledo Zaragoza were among the seven people killed. Dozens of others were injured. The shooting suspect is in custody, charged with seven counts of first-degree murder. And check this out. This jersey hung up inside the Milwaukee Brewers dugout today. The team says it is for eight-year-old Cooper Roberts, who was wounded in the Highland Park shooting and is now paralyzed from the waist down. His family says he is a huge baseball fan, specifically of the Brewers. Well, days after the mass shooting, Wisconsin leaders are looking for ways to stop gun violence. Dane County is offering to buy guns back, but will it be an option in the state's largest city of Milwaukee? Caroline Reinwald reports. Days after revealing the suspect in the Highland Park attack nearly attacked Madison as well, the Dane County Sheriff's Office announced it's hosting a gun buyback program, exchanging guns for gas or grocery gift cards. There are too many guns in the hands of people who shouldn't have them, and we in America must confront head on the epidemic of gun violence. Milwaukee tried a gun buyback program in 2014, collecting 353 guns, including four assault rifles. Gun owners getting 50 to $200 in return. A spokesperson for Mayor Cavalier Johnson's office says a metal recycling company paid that bill. Is the only way that Milwaukee could do that again through a private funder? Well, we certainly did it that way last time. That probably is the, probably is the best course of action, considering the fact that that our budgets are tight. There's no way that I'm going to be able to fund some of these other programs if we don't have additional revenues coming in. But some say gun buyback programs don't work. In a 2021 study published in the National Bureau of Economic Research, economists looked at hundreds of gun buyback programs nationwide, including Milwaukee's. They concluded the programs do little to reduce gun crime or firearm-related violence. With homicides still breaking record rates in Milwaukee, Johnson said says he's willing to give it a try if someone else bankrolls it. I don't think that individuals who may have lost a family member uh, would have found it to be a waste. That was Caroline Reinwald reporting. In Dane County, that gift cards for guns buyback program will happen on Saturday, August 13th at the Alliant Energy Center. Gun owners can turn in any unwanted, unused, or unnecessary guns in return for gasoline or grocery gift cards. Campaign 2022 coverage now. Former Governor Tommy Thompson today endorsing construction company co-owner Tim Michaels for governor. Michaels was also recently endorsed by Donald Trump. Polls show Michaels is in a tight primary race with former Lieutenant Governor Rebecca Clayfish. And on Capitol Hill, former Trump White House counsel Pat Cipollone sits down to answer questions for nearly eight hours today by the January 6th committee. During the closed door interview, the committee was expected to ask him about what he saw and heard during the last days of Trump's presidency. The back and forth is videotaped and parts of it might be aired during upcoming hearings, including one that is scheduled for 
Tuesday. The Japanese flag outside of the country's embassy in Washington, D.C. is flying at half staff following the assassination of former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. The 67-year-old was the country's longest-serving prime minister. He died after being shot during a campaign speech near Osaka. Making this even more surprising, the country has some of the strictest gun laws in the world. And we have to warn you, this footage is not easy to watch. Here's Ian Lee. Graphic eyewitness video shows the final moments of Shinzo Abe's life. The former Japanese prime minister was gunned down while delivering a speech during a campaign rally near Osaka. Security tackled the suspected gunman, 41-year-old Tetsuma Yamagami, while Abe lay mortally wounded on the ground nearby. Authorities say he used a homemade gun. <laughs> Visibly shaken, Japan's current prime minister called the assassination an unforgivable act and said the country's parliamentary election would still happen Sunday. President Biden called the attack a tragedy for Japan and all who knew Abe. Japan is a very, very stable ally and uh, we, uh, I, I do not believe it's likely to have, but I don't know yet, likely to have any profound destabilizing impact on Japanese security or Japanese uh, solidarity. Abe, who was 67, was Japan's longest-serving prime minister. He built a stronger U.S.-Japan relationship and was a fierce supporter of Japan's military. He left office in 2020 due to health issues. The U.N. Human Rights Council held a moment of silence in his memory. Ian Lee, CBS News, London. President Biden ordered flags at the White House and public buildings to be flown at half-staff in honor of Abe. Japan is known for its strict gun laws and usually only sees a handful of gun deaths every year. A new tonight, actor Tony Sor oh, Saruko has died. He's best known for his role as Paul Polly Walnuts on HBO's The Sopranos. Sirico also had movie roles in the 1990s, including Goodfellas, Mighty Aphrodite, and Mickey Blue Eyes. He was 79 years old. Still to come tonight, your weekend forecast, and the government releases a better-than-expected jobs report. What it means for the overall economy is next. Senators couldn't tell you the cost of a gallon of milk. Thanks, Ruben. Or how much beef has gone up this year. But I'm not like most senators or any of the other millionaires running for Senate. My mom was a teacher and my dad worked third shift. I know how hard you work. And I know that by bringing manufacturing home, we create jobs and we lower costs. If we want to change Washington, we got to change the people we send there. I'm Mandela Barnes and I approve this message. Seven day old tuna casserole. How'd you know that? Even my nose is strong. You need Hefty Ultra Strong. It has arm and hammer, continuous odor control. Hefty, Hefty, Hefty! Oh, and uh, Toby needs a bath. Stay one step ahead of Stinky. Wipes, wipes, wipes. Why the waste? Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water with reusable eco pad. My cells work like a magnet. Now leave less mascara residue than the leading wipes. With no wipe waste. Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water and reusable eco pad by Garnier Naturally. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Gorilla Super Glue. Brush for edge to edge coverage and nozzle for precise application all in one. For the toughest jobs on planet Earth. Ugstipated. Feeling weighed down by a backed up gut. Miralax is different. It works naturally with the water in your body to unblock your gut. Free your gut and your mood will follow. This is a Tempur-Pedic mattress, and it's designed to help make aches and pains a thing of the past. Because only Tempur-Pedic uses our one-of-a-kind, incredibly adaptive temper material to relieve pressure points and support your body in a way no other mattress can. Molecule by molecule and millimeter by millimeter, all night, every night. And right now, get a free $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Denver Mattress, the easiest way to get the right Tempur-Pedic. Politicians have been threatening it. Now the Supreme Court's done it, triggering a ban on nearly all abortions in Wisconsin, even in cases of rape and incest. And Senator Ron Johnson sided with them on overturning Roe v. Wade, punishing doctors and hurting people, putting our health and reproductive rights in danger. 
Johnson even said, if you don't like it, you can move. Tell Senator Ron Johnson to protect us, not punish us. This Saturday, we'll learn Will's picks for the best shows and movies currently streaming in his three things to watch. And Julian is tracking sunshine for this weekend. Your certified most accurate forecast Saturday morning at 5 and 8. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Welcome back. A new consumer report survey shows the number of people who say they would buy an electric vehicle has tripled over the past few years from just 4% in 2020 to 14% now. Surprisingly, the current price of gas was not cited as a reason why. Instead, it appears to be because more people are experiencing them. Knowing someone with an electric vehicle or riding in one seems to be the biggest factor that leads people to consider a purchase. Elon Musk is now trying to get out of buying Twitter regulatory filings today show the Tesla CEO wants to end the $44 billion deal. Musk has claimed Twitter breached several provisions in the original agreement. In a response tonight, Twitter says it will file suit against Musk. And continuing coverage, the future of Spirit Airlines is still, well, up in the air. According to the Wall Street Journal, Spirit has once again delayed a shareholder's vote on an acquisition proposal from the Frontier Group. It's the third time Spirit has put off the shareholder reference referendum. Both Frontier and JetBlue want to merge with them. The latest job numbers are out and show that U.S. employers continue to hire at a strong pace despite signs of weakness in the economy. Michael George has the latest. Last month, hundreds of people stood in line to apply for work with the Broward County Sheriff's Office in Florida. The job fair recruited potential 911 operators with pay starting at $57,000 a year. I am shocked. I'm actually overwhelmed at what, um, what the, the representation from the community has actually showed up for us. The Labor Department says the economy added a better than expected 372,000 jobs in June, and the unemployment rate stayed at a pandemic low 3.6%. I think that this shows that the labor market continues to be pretty strong. We are downshifting into a new gear of the COVID era. CBS News business analyst Jill Schlesinger says hiring is slowing from previous months, but this new report shows the labor market remains solid. In fact, if we're worried about an economic slowdown or or recession. This report has no proof of that at all. There are plenty of jobs available. The latest data shows there were 11.3 million job openings just over a month ago. Many industries, including restaurants, continue to suffer through a worker shortage. Even local pools in cities across the country can't find enough lifeguards. While the job market is strong, inflation remains a problem. The Federal Reserve has been raising interest rates in an attempt to ease price hikes. They will do so again in a few weeks. They're going to likely rise by another three quarters of one percentage point at the July meeting. But the boost to rates won't have an immediate effect. Schlesinger says shoppers can expect to keep paying high prices through the summer. Michael George, CBS News, New York. And an update to a story we first told you about yesterday. The boil water advisory in parts of Fishburg has now been lifted. Part of the water system lost pressure on Wednesday. The city said it took samples to make sure the water was safe, which tests showed it was. And here's Chief Meteorologist Gary Canalti with a look at our weekend forecast. Well, the humidity levels have dropped. That's noticeable out there. It feels great there. outside yeah. now. And it looks like it'll be a nice weekend as a result. Three things you need to know in the forecast. Boy, the sunshine should be nice for the weekend. Good timing for that. And the humidity levels dropping. It'll still be warm. Uh, temperatures around 80 for tomorrow, lower 80s for Sunday. Then we see a chance for some thunderstorms Sunday night into Monday. But they'll be scattered. Not everybody will see them. Humidity levels will come up just a little bit. And then warm weather for all of next week. Very warm by next weekend and downright hot by the start of the following week. And it's possible it could be hot already by uh, next weekend. We could be looking at high temperatures around 90 by then. Just looking at some of the very latest computer models. On Doppler track, Wisconsin dry right now. The northeasterly winds have really dried out the air. High temperatures today right around 80 across our state, but warmer, more typical 80s to the south and to the west of us. And then the real heat is down to the south, 99 in Springfield, Missouri, 96 in St. Louis, near 100 degrees in Paducah, Kentucky. Uh, right now, temperatures 60s here already in the 50s to the north and east. That's a sign that the air is drying out. And the other sign is that the dew point temperatures are dropping. Yesterday, we were around 70 degrees. That's tropical air. 
now 51. That's about a 20 degree drop over the last 24 hours. So they are noticeably drier. Those 70 degree plus dew points now farther to the south and west and actually moving away from us. On weather track, the jet stream now sagging southward just a little bit, a little buckle in the jet stream, touching off some showers across Iowa. But those are moving straight south because high pressure is located just up uh, near Lake Superior and that northeasterly wind flow around that high pressure system is what's driving the drier air in and keeping the rain farther to the south and to the west of us. Uh, temperatures are pretty comfortable right now, but uh, again, with the dry northeasterly winds, we'll see cooler temperatures tonight, probably 50s for most of the state, and look for uh, plenty of sunshine during the day tomorrow. High temperatures will top out uh, around 80 degrees, and we'll see even more sunshine for Sunday. The uh, 6 to 10 day temperature outlook calling for above normal temperatures, basically over the western three quarters of the country, including the upper Midwest. Highest probabilities will be out in the uh, Black Hills of South Dakota, but below normal precipitation expected across much of the northern and northeastern part of the country, and that trend continues through the third week of June. Above normal temperatures through almost the entire country, except for the Carolinas and the far southern portions of Arizona, but the highest probability is just out to the west of us and below normal precipitation expected here again. It's going to be warm, it's going to be dry, and there's not much in the way of thunderstorm chances, especially as we head into, say, next weekend and uh, beyond. So for tomorrow, mostly sunny skies, a pleasant day, high temperature at 79 degrees. As we look at the 7 to 10 day forecast, up to 83 on Sunday. Thunderstorm chance Sunday night into Monday with a little more humidity, and then those temperatures drop just a couple of degrees for Tuesday. We stay warm for next week, lots of sunshine with the dry air. Those temperatures start to warm warm up. Maybe a thunderstorm chance Saturday night as humidity levels increase, but by the early part of the following week, we're close to 90 degrees. And coming up in sports, Wisconsin announced its 2022 Athletic Hall of Fame class. Here from two former Badgers that are calling the honor the greatest you could ever have. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When you've been injured, you need a winning team on your side. Gruber Law Offices will fight for the results you deserve. Call Gruber Law Offices today. A proud partner of your Milwaukee Brewers. One call, that's all. Okay, it's me, Adrian. People choose Sano Bello because they can permanently remove your stubborn body fat in just one visit. After having two kids, my body changed a lot and I struggled with my stubborn body fat. For me, as a busy mom of two, when I discovered that Sano Bello had a mommy makeover package catered just for moms like me who don't have time to recover and need to get back in action, that's when I knew I needed to go to Sano Bello. Sono Bello removed my diet resistant fat cells permanently in just one visit. There was minimal downtime, local anesthesia, so I was actually awake during the whole procedure. I deserved my mommy makeover and you do too. Schedule your free, no obligation consultation now and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-952-0466 or go to sonobello.com. a year. That's the burden of Joe Biden's inflation tax on Wisconsin families. They can't afford it. From the grocery store to the gas station, we're all paying the price for Biden's massive deficit spending. Ron Johnson has the courage to say no to spending that is mortgaging our children's future. And his small business tax cuts help them compete and survive the pandemic. I'm Ron Johnson and I approve this message. We know a thing or two about beef. High V knows beef too. Only six out of a hundred cattle are even good enough to bear the High V brand. Only six out of a hundred. Quality like that is hard to find. So enjoy your High V steak this weekend. You've earned it. Discover what's in store at Habitat Restore Dane County. You'll find something new every time you visit to keep your project on budget with low price and high quality home supplies. For one of a kind items, shop Habitat Restore Dane County today. At USAA, we've been called too exclusive because we only serve those who honorably serve. All ranks, all branches, and their eligible family members. Yep, that is exclusive, and we're fine with that. 
Injured in a motorcycle crash? Make one call to Gruber Law Offices. Proving it wasn't your fault can be extremely difficult without an aggressive team on your side. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. It's a phone call they'll never forget, or in Jordan Taylor's case, one he almost didn't answer. Didn't recognize the number, thought it was a telemarketer. We can relate. What we can't relate to is what Chris McIntosh said on the other end of the phone call. Welcome to the UW Athletic Hall of Fame. This year's 11-member class, headlined by Taylor, Travis Beckham, Hillary Knight, Gary Souter, and the late father Mike, heard those words, and what it means, well, that's hard to put into words. Just to be in that company is something where it's like, wow, like you really did some great things along with your teammates here. And, you know, it was um, something that someone can't really ever take away from you regardless. And it's honestly one of the one of the greatest honors you could have. It kind of um, was able to put the ice in on the cake as far as my my football career um, was very fortunate to win a Super Bowl in, in New York. Um, but this is by far the most uh, important accolade that I've ever received. Day two of the NHL draft was a big one for the Wisconsin men's hockey program with four future Badgers being selected. Madison Capitals own Quinn Finley was the first off the board in the third round, 78th overall to the Islanders. Then in the fourth round, Tyson Jugnoff was picked by the crack and Cruz Lucius was taken by the Hurricanes and Owen Mellenbacher was drafted by the Red Wings. And during the draft, former Badger captain Luke Cunning was traded from the Predators to the Sharks. Last season in Nashville, Cunning scored 22 points for the Preds in 82 games. Speaking of familiar faces in new places, Frank Kaminsky is heading to Atlanta. After only playing nine games with the Suns last season, the former Badger signed a one-year deal with the Hawks. Even better news for Frank, he's fully recovered from right knee surgery. Micah Potter in action tonight with the Knicks in the NBA Summer League, and they don't call him Big Jam for nothing. Potter slams it home for two of his six points tonight. He also had two assists and two rebounds in New York's win. Second round of the Senior Players Championship was much better for the Wisco boys. We'll start with Jerry Kelly. He closes out his round in style with a birdie. That chirper drops him to four under heading into the weekend. And Steve Stricker was red hot today. A five Five birdies, zero bogey round, sits him at five under. The defending champ, just one shot off that lead. And the Brewers beat the Pirates 4-3 to three in game one of the three-game series. I'm guessing not many of you saw it because it was on something called Apple TV+. Plus. Well, we didn't get that service either. We're back after this. spending. We're changing people's lives. The liberals in Washington sure are changing people's lives. Soaring inflation thanks to reckless spending and record gas prices due to cuts in U.S. energy production. Senator Ron Johnson is fighting back, working to hold Washington accountable for its spending and waste and restore American energy independence to lower prices at the pump. Tell Senator Johnson, keep fighting for Wisconsin families. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service is a must. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection is here 24 hours a day. Seven days a week for all your residential and commercial plumbing services. From installation, repairs, and maintenance to complete sewer and drain cleaning, we've got you covered. Visit MononaPFP.com. Monona Plumbing and Fire Protection, a name you can trust when service Hot deals are super hot this Friday through Sunday. Six packs of Pepsi products, only $1.99. Hormel Always Tender Whole Boneless Pork Loin, only $1.99 a pound. Cosmic Crisp Apples, only 99 cents a pound. A five pack of Kraft Macaroni and Cheese, only $2.99 with coupon. And the savings are hotter than hot on Red Baron Pizza, only $1.99 with coupon. Scan the QR code and check out HyveeDeals.com for more deals. Dear gas prices, Toyota's hybrid lineup says... 
go take a hike. Because we bring efficiency with power and savings with style. Think you can stand in our way? We got this. Toyota Hybrids. Every new Toyota comes with Toyota Care, our no-cost maintenance plan with roadside assistance. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota. Let's go places. It's time for new energy-efficient replacement windows from Champion. Right now, buy two windows, get two free. Don't sweat over high energy bills. Stay comfortable in your home all year long. Call or go online to book your free estimate at GetChampionWindows.com. It's time to get away for a two-hour vacation at the movies. The food on this flight is excellent. Whether you have a design emergency or you just want to shop the best furniture showroom in town, you need dwellings. Madison's best kept secret for design and furniture. Shop our fabulous showroom. Hard Rock Road, Fitchburg. Channel 3000 Plus. Watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. Finally tonight, during the second round of the 2022 Genesis Scottish Open at the Renaissance Club, golfer Jordan Smith made a hole-in-one on the par-3, 186-yard hole 17. His prize two new Genesis vehicles, one for himself and one for his caddy. Smith wins the new electric Genesis GV70 SUV and his caddy takes home the GV60 crossover. Hmm. That's a nice prize. Yeah. Yeah, for about 10 seconds worth of work. Yeah. <laughs> right? All in a day's it's work. It's in the hole. <laughs> All right, Gary. So tell us about the weekend. Lots of sunshine. <clears throat> uh, clear skies right now. Temperatures in the 60s, very comfortable. But those dew points have dropped into the lower 50s in Madison. So noticeably less humid. Look for a low tonight, 57. High tomorrow, 79. Up to 83 on Sunday. But warm for next week, especially by next weekend. All right. Thank you. And thank you for joining us tonight. Do something good. And we hope you have a great weekend.